These are 10 baby essential items that are a must for me. So I'm pretty basic with it. I don't like to have a lot of extra stuff. I'm a procrastinator with packing and this is our fourth baby. So I feel super laxed, but these are my top 10 things that we took on this trip and that are like a must every single city and place that we travel to. So we're here in Nashville, right Rooms? And we had such a good trip. So we're in our Airbnb right now. And before I pack up, I'm just gonna show you some of these items over here. Clothes, right? That is number one. And what I like to do is count how many days that we're gonna be here. And I always double the outfits, okay? So that's two outfits a day because accidents. She's super drooly right now or a blowout diaper, you name it. You gotta have two outfits per day. And then you have to have sleepers and jammies for nighttime, okay? So add up your days, get your two outfits a day, and then get your one jammy per night, and maybe just throw in an extra one in case, again, some sort of blowout happens. So those are our clothes today. So you can see here, I just got some cute clothes, cute onesies. Oh, and this is a great tip, guys. If you're traveling and if you're in an airport, no matter what the temperature is, it doesn't matter if it is like the heat of summer, you still want to have something that's gonna keep them warm because most of the time, the airplane is cold, so I always do like pants and long sleeve, or at least something to throw over if it is hot outside, her short set, okay? So, um, these are just, again, cute clothes that will travel everywhere, pretty gender neutral. Um, so clothes it is. Then, you guys, these bad boys have gone through four of our kids. So we started with Bly, um, just from a recommendation through others, Fell in love with it. He fell in love with it. He was sleeping 12 hours um, a night from the beginning and 12 weeks. And so we keep them. And as you can see here, these are transition bags, right? So this brand is Love to Dream. And another good thing I love about this is that they go up in size, right? So they can start with like a newborn size all the way up until you're much higher. So you are able to see that on the tag, right? And it gives it by the weight. So this one is a transition bag, as you can see, because it looks and it shows you that the zippers are missing, right? The sleeve. So from the beginning, when they're newborns and they have that newborn reflux, um, they're going to reach their face and startle themselves and wake themselves up. So once we're out of that stage, you can then, and they're rolling. So my girl already, Romy, is rolling back and forth. So once they start doing that, you want to have their arms free and ready to move. So that's why we are down to the sleeveless transition bags and I always bring two right because accident and shit happens so there's that um wipes guys another item you cannot have enough wipes I am not crazy about a brand of wipes we like them all um I do try to get the ones that are as like pure as possible so campers aqua uh, pure I also love the bamboo nature wipes um and then the water wipes so those are my three go-to but just find something that works for your baby. We're trying to make like the minimal um, sort of uh, diaper rash and things like that, okay? So there's those. Um, diapers, again, you could be an amazing packer. I am not. And you could probably count out like how many diapers a day does your baby use and find some extras and do it that way. But for me, I am like, no way. We're not gonna be without diapers. So the more the better. I always bring like an entire so we were here for three days and we have 29 diapers, okay? And I probably had more in my carry-on as well. So overload on diapers if you uh, have the room. Then, you guys, airplane bathrooms, airport bathrooms, airport seats, out in public restaurants, you name it. I did not use this when I had my first. I don't know why, but now I love it. It's so easy because those things are nasty. I don't want to wipe, use my wipes and wipe it down. Then you got to dry it. This is so easy. Just plop it down, change them on it, and then you can wipe this dry, okay? It's so light. It's so easy. Look how it folds up. Super easy. This is um, Petunia Pickle Bottom, okay? So it just matches like a diaper book bag I have, but I think you can get any brand. This one's great. Cute design. Um, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. So I am exclusively breastfeeding Romy. So if I wasn't doing that, I'd obviously have to have like pump and bags and, and all that stuff, right? And um, so to each his own, it's just for me with my fourth kid down now, I wanted convenience, I wanted easy, um, and breastfeeding comes uh, pretty natural to me. We definitely have some hiccups though, don't we? With like clogged milk, du milk ducts. But you guys, this Hakka, there's different sizes. Um, this one I like, the bigger size, just depends on what your supply is. But an amazing tool. So when she's feeding on one side, unless we're out to dinner, I'll use this on the other side. Um, I probably should have brought some bags if I was really concerned about saving my milk and like a cooler and all that stuff. But thankfully I'm an overproducer and so, while we're here, I just take the extra milk and toss it. Don't hate me. I know it's liquid gold. I love it. Breast milk is amazing. Um, I just also like to travel really light. Okay, uh, a sheet. Okay, so this is a sheet that comes with an amazing pack and play, which I'm going to show you guys. So this sheet is just a, a normal size fitting sheet that goes into the uh, Zoe uh, play yard that I have. So the Zoe one is amazing. We get to gate check it. Uh, it has wheels on it, and I'm going to head over there and show you guys just how easy that Zoe is. All right, guys, so this is the Zoe um, that we carry everywhere with us. It's like a little play yard. Great to sleep in. It has a um, pad at the bottom. Again, this is easy to Velcro in. You see the Velcros on the side. So what these Velcros do is they attach at the bottom down here so you're nice and secure, right? And that sheet tucks underneath so there's no worries and issues about the sheet getting mixed up. So what I also love about this Zoe is this is going to be surrounding the Zoe when I uh, break it down, right? So this is what is getting kind of uh, thrown onto the airport, drugged through the airport, and it's nice and sturdy, okay? So let's break this down and I'll show you just how easy it is. So we have taken the uh, baseboard off there, right? And what we're gonna do is there is a little string in the middle. This is also where we gate check it, but you're gonna pull it up. Wow, look how easy that is, right? So it starts to break down. Then you're gonna go on the sides here and there is a little button that you undo there. And then there is another one. So it's two on that side. Then you go on these outer sides. Again, you're just kind of pushing that button down. And then our fourth side here. All right, so then we just kind of bring it all together. And see, as you can tell, this is not gonna work, right? But what you do is if you get to this point, you just kind of reach on those long sides. Again, like I told you, there's two. And then you see how I was able to squeeze that side. So you can tell here that this is where the tension still lies. And you hit that button and look, voila. We're all in here together. So we're nice and tight. So what you'll do is you'll take this guy. Guys, can you tell that we've had some good use out of this? A lot, a lot of babies, a lot of flights. So, shows you how much I love it. Then you're gonna just take it around. Look how easy this is. And you just wrap it all the way around and we're gonna Velcro down on the top and the bottom. So we're still doing that and we have now protected the actual pack and play. You can hold it here. As you can tell, my husband does that a lot. Look at the bottom. You can see that there are wheels so that you can drag it through the airport like so. So it just depends. Maybe you put it with your luggage. Maybe you like doing it this way. How easy, guys. That took me a second uh, to put up and down. So light. I mean, look at this. So light. I can carry it. I can hold the baby and still carry this bad boy. So easy to travel when I'm solo as well. Love this Zoe pack and play. All right, let's go to car seat next, okay? Our car seat when we travel, um, whether we rent a car or we get Ubers, we take our Duna everywhere, okay? Because it does not have to travel with a base and it will then just get buckled in. So at home we use it because it's so good if you have multiple kids. Um, you just can take it out so the baby can be in the car seat and you just bring the car seat out and then it raises up onto wheels and it then becomes your stroller as well. So car seat and stroller in one. Guys, we have had this for three kids. We got it with Mercy. Yanni used it. We gave it to our friend to let her borrow and use it. And now Romy. So this is on its fourth baby. Lots of flights. Let's take a look at the Duna. The most magical piece. The one item that I tell every parent, is 
especially if you have multiple kids, you definitely need this thing. So comes in lots of different colors. This is a neutral khaki that we have had. Like I said, this is going on baby four, okay? So um, has the canopy here. You can tell ours has been a little bit well-loved, but it buttons, easy to clean. You can take it off here. Just make sure it's all in there. <laughs> and then let me show you down here. Couple of different options depending on size. There's also a newborn insert. So we had that, she's too big for it now, so it's gone. You have the newborn insert in here. You have different levels depending on their shoulder height because you want those straps like any car seat to sit just right above those shoulders to keep them nice and snug. Um, it, again, it's very easy to take all this off and wash because we've had some blowouts through here. So they just kind of pop off on the sides. This button right here controls this string and that either tightens or loosens the um, straps to keep her in the car seat. So I'm gonna put her in. Can you tell she's excited? She's grabbing my hair. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from sitting in the Duna, right? Uh, reverse in the car and then pop right up in as if we got out of the car into a stroller and ready to walk. What you think? We've got baby Romy in. She is sitting nice and snug. And so what we'll do is we can fasten that top belt and then we are going to do this buckle. So you'll have three clicks. And as you can tell, this is not gonna work. So we're gonna just kind of adjust her shirt. We're gonna take that chest plate up towards the top and then we'll pull this string and get it nice and tight for her. So you want to keep this, it takes a little bit of time, you know, to move the strap and this um, buckle across the chest. So now she's in there, she's great. Couple of things you can do here. There is a button on both sides here of the handle. So you press them in and this goes backwards, which this is a pro tip. This is how you have to do it to go through security, right? Let me highly recommend getting pre-check <laughs> is the best thing I've ever done because I don't take my shoes off and all kinds of extra stuff. You do have to get her out of this car seat or any car seat or any stroller going through the airport um, checkpoint lines, okay guys? So we get her out, I hold her or I wear her in a baby carrier. You push this handlebar all the way back, you flip it over and it goes through security that way, okay? So we've done all that, we got her out, she's back in, or let's say we're just getting out of a car. You always put it to here, right? Because that's how you're gonna have this most sturdy hand. Let's see if we can, let's take a look here. Actually, do you see the wheels on the bottom? So this shows you, these are these stroller wheels that come out. And this is how it sits in a car, on a base, or if you do not have a base and you're in your Uber, um, what you can do is you take these down, voila, and this is where the seat belt comes across and fastens her in, okay? So that's what makes this thing a beauty, is that you do not have to have that base. It's just one less thing. You've got a stroller and a car seat without a base, one piece of equipment, and it does all the things. So here we go. She is fastened in her Uber. We're getting out of the car here. We bring her to here. Then we come back behind. I never bu buttoned this back up, did I? So we're buttoned up here. But now we come behind and you see this, we're gonna tap that and we're gonna hold on so that we're nice and sturdy and strong. We're gonna push in and look, look at those wheels, look at those wheels. Popping in, so she's now in a stroller. So obviously you can't push a stroller like this, right? So again, the beauty is grab those white buttons, get it in the stroller position. There's another white button here. So my kids love this height, right? I got Bly, Mercy, and Yanni and this height, and they can help push. Or if it's mom and dad, push it in. It is now at a great adult height, okay? So here we have it. And let me just show you how easy this thing is to roll. Now guys, I'm not gonna go on a jog with this, right? This is a travel, this is convenience, this is city. This is, you could walk far in it too, but we're not gonna go off-roading. We're not gonna go through gravel. Can it? Sure, but it, that doesn't feel good. That's not, you know, get a different shoulder for that. So this is this. This is the Duna. It's so easy. This is going back down. How she would go in a car. You're going to grab that position again, but keep that front foot out to trap the wheel. Push forward. Look. And sure, it's a little heavy. We got all this extra stuff, but this is doable. This is still doable, but you don't need to carry it this way. You can roll it. So... The Duna, must, must have. What do you think, Romy? 
Romy, you like it? <laughs> this is a all right one item that i forgot this trip which i take everywhere is a baby carrier i love baby wearing thankfully i met a best friend here and she had a baby carrier that she let me use some of my favorite brands are the love sakura bloom um, i love the baby bajorns and a third baby carrier that we love is the ergo baby so the like cloth wraps just aren't good for me, but that's the beauty of this, you guys. Just try and explore and find different things that makes it feel comfortable and snug, you know? So um, we use the baby carrier all weekend and then we just travel um, through the airport and in the cars with the actual car seat in the Duna. The wind, so top 10 things, you guys, that we travel with everywhere. Forgot the actual baby carrier, but we talked about it all the other items they're a must if you are pumping you'll have to have a few other items like your pump and your bag and your coolers and those kind of things but if you're exclusively breastfeeding if you are a mom like i am and have lots of different kids and your mind is half gone anyways you can just use this list 10 easy items we don't bring toys because guess what we, we play with her we interact with her we we let her explore and do that kind of stuff and she's still she's still young enough right so those are my 10 must-haves